Crypto market is correcting today. Bitcoin broke $69,000 support temporarily, but more importantly, Bitcoin dominance is rising as all coins fall, suffering worse even than Bitcoin. Is this an alarming new trend? Is it just another bloody Monday of old, which we've seen many, many times? What's going on here? Is this a dip worth buying? Will this correction continue? I don't have an opinion, but what we're going to do is look at charts and see if we can figure it out. Because that's what we do on Monday's Chartapalooza. I'm going to take your request. We're going to look at the charts. I'm going to give you some ideas. And then we're going to figure the rest out together. It's Monday. It's Chartapalooza. Let's go. Let's go. What is up, everybody? I'm Scott Melker, also known as the Wolf of All Streets. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, do the alert thing, and generally just find things on your keyboard to touch that might benefit myself. The views and the algorithm. El Cid says, let's go. Let's go. That's right. Uh, you says, I'm not falling for the title. I've been victim to many jokes today. This is not an April Fool's joke. I should have done that. I should have been like, Bitcoin's $10,000, $100,000 by tomorrow. April Fool's Day. My four-year-old put my cup of coffee, put a cup of coffee in the freezer last night and handed it to me this morning. TD12 says I look tired. I would like to remind you that's just my face. Permanent eye bags. Always look tired. I've looked tired since I was a baby. It's just how I roll. But yeah, guys, we have uh, going to take a look at some charts, take a look at the market. Try to figure out what is going on because it's supposed to be up only. That's what I was advertised. That's what was told to me on Twitter. Um, and I honestly, I feel like I got scammed. We went down for a day and uh, I don't know what to do about that. So anyways, let's take a look. We got coin market cap right here. Looking at the cryptocurrencies by market cap. As you can see, Bitcoin down about 2.24%. In 24 hours, 1.8% in seven days. I mean, we're flat, right? Up a little bit in the hour, back over 69,000 for now. But what's more notable as you take a look down the chart is there's a lot of red. The only thing is green that you can even see in this top 11 right here are the stable coins, right? But Bitcoin down 2.2% last 24 hours. You got Ethereum down 4.5, BNB 4.6, Solana 3.8, XRP 3, Doge, the memes suffering 6.6. Right. The point being, every single one of these things, not named Toncoin, which is only down 1.95 percent, uh, all red. Right. You scroll down to the next bunch. Memes, obviously, the big name meme coin suffering. Bitcoin Cash, somehow flat. But honestly, almost everything is down and down more than Bitcoin. You can take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Effectively, the best way to just get a quick visualization on how altcoins are performing versus Bitcoin. And what you don't generally want to see, not a big deal on a day where you're down 2%, but man, does it give you the pain in the membrane when it's like a 10% Bitcoin day and dominance is pumping, 10% down to Bitcoin day and dominance pumps. And that means your altcoins are like down like 20, right? But you can see that we have a pretty nice candle to the upside on Bitcoin dominance today, meaning that... What we already know is true. Your portfolio is suffering worse than just the downside of Bitcoin, right? So I actually started sort of flipping through. Right now, if you take a look on the weekly chart of Bitcoin, nothing to be alarmed about, right? What we have for now is 69,000 resistance. That's the previous all-time high from way back in the olden days of November 21, which is like 400 years ago in crypto years, right? But what you had was three candles that got rejected here on the weekly at 69,000. I kept saying, listen, 69,000, obviously the key resistance. It's the previous all-time high, right? This candle right here that started March, basically, that week stopped right there, wick above, right? But closed right at the line. The next candle opened right at the line, wicked as high as 74, as low as 64, and rejected. So you got this spinning top candle right here. That usually means there's a market pause and potentially a reversal. Then the next candle, you know, 
tops out on the wick right at, I mean, it was like 68,954, but you can see 69,000, big dip down to 60,700 60, or so, and then all the way back up. Last week, we saw the break above, and now, given it's only Monday, but we're seeing a retest. Nothing shocking there. If you look at it on the monthly, it's the same, actually. We had our first monthly close ever above 69, and you have a retest on the monthly. It's the first day of the month, April Fool's, so it's kind of irrelevant. But no surprise that we would con continue to see dips below 69K, tests of 69K. What we want to see is that the end of the week in six days closes above 69K. Uh, Erwin says dip, set, dip, set, dip, set, dip, set. Erwin used to have uh, Blippi as his icon. Now he has an old picture of me from my DJ days with Scott Melker rings, which he found on the internet. Uh, regrettable, but kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I could pull them off anymore. Oh, Kristen's here. See, on Mondays, I can just hang out with you guys. Doesn't really matter. You know, uh, she says, hey, good to see you. Uh, I guess you're here for the afternoon show. This is the casual, casual afternoons. It's like casual Fridays at the office. But bottom line here is I'm not seeing anything to be particularly concerned about as of yet. Fabio Swanee here. I would love to see what he's thinking about this market right now. But I would imagine he'd say not at all that concerned. So listen, I took trading alpha. You know, I do the show with Wick on Wednesdays. And I, I got so sick of looking at the black chart. I'm sorry. That I customized it to my own devices. So green is now gray. That's all I got to remember. And blue is now red. So gray dots good, blue dots bad. Easy, right? So I didn't, uh, didn't get too deep into flipping it, but I did. I flipped it. I flipped it. Um, but what you can see here actually that is worth noting at least is that the daily right now is a bearish engulfing candle of yesterday for now. So we want to start closing maybe above 69.6, something like that in four hours. But you are potentially, and it happened here too, but you are potentially losing the gray green dots. So something to keep uh, an eye on, especially when you have this squeeze shading right here. If you guys haven't watched on Wednesdays, this is all explained. This is now the indicator that I use to scan the market. If you care about it, it's in the description, trading alpha and whatever. Um, but And you also have uh, some top signals happening. So that would indicate that maybe this squeeze is going to give you a big blue red arrow and maybe send price down for a greater correction so that gave me a bit of pause but once again when you zoom out to like the weekly nothing but nice dots over here track line screaming up right so I i'm not concerned on the larger uh, time frames at all but i think it is worth noting that you know we're seeing a dip and potentially the indicators don't love it as much and as we've seen today, if we get a bigger dip in Bitcoin right now, it does seem like this is one of the moments where altcoins would be disproportionately affected to the downside. So, you know, listen, if you've been trading the hell out of meme coins and trading the hell out of altcoins and you're up and you're a millionaire on paper and you're so rich and new paradigm, now is as good a time as any to start taking some profits and try to become an actual millionaire, not a fake millionaire because of things like this, or even this. This would be a good meme coin. Uh, pooping, pooping doge, Shiba Inu cock face. And of course, this one. Bought those in Japan when I was there. Oh, there's one more. It's this one. It's this one. So um, no D would like to know, hey, Scott, if I dip, if you dip, does that mean we both dip? So if I dip, you dip. I think that only applies if you put your hand upon my hip then I dip, you dip, we dip. But I don't know if it applies to markets. Guys, if you've never been here on an afternoon, I have serious conversations in the morning. In the afternoon, I make rap jokes and alienate uh, my new followers so that they never come back. That's what we do here, right? Um, so anyways, listen, guys, what I'm going to do, instead of presenting the case, we should just dig through a bunch of charts and figure it out. So you guys in the comments over there, you can tell me what assets you are irrationally, emotionally attached to because you've been bag holding for so long. So you think they're really important, but in reality, it's just another coin that you've become deeply in love with. Um, you can do that. Uh, but throw me some requests. I'm going to just look at them through Trading Alpha, but we'll charge them, uh, charge them as well. Uh, we'll see what you got. Saeem says, VeChain, 
That's a good one because, you know, I just had Sonny on last week. Uh, he's a really interesting guy. So look, this is giving us an example of what I was sort of talking about with all coins. First of all, like, I think you, it, first of all, this indicator nailed the top. Once again, shocker. I would draw, for being honest, a line somewhere like this. So you would see kind of rejections, but we're losing those new green dots and getting rejected at the track line right now on the daily. That doesn't look great, but on the weekly, I bet it's nothing but great gray dots. So that's the thing. You, I'm going to tell you in context, nothing is going to look bad on the weekly. Did you guys hear that? Because you'll sign on later and you'll freak out, and whatever. But this looks, uh, you know, looks like it's testing resistance, but you want to be above this track line, getting those dots once again. But honestly, I mean, if we zoom out, this probably looks like a big ass bull flag. Let's take a look. I mean, it's hard to hate that. You know what? Now my brain just reset to Bitcoin. I bet here. Well, let's do it on this one. Okay. So view chain, I would say a break of that getting back above this level is a concern, but look, this gave you the trigger at 0.029. We're still at 0.044 and went as high as 0.054. So all the bottom signals in the world, it gave you the top signal. Now I'd wait till you're back above the track line. But once again, no reason to get rid of any of these. But now I just realized by looking at that chart, if we go back to Bitcoin, I bet if we zoom into like the four hour, we have a bull flag. Let's look. Okay, it's going to be kind of ugly with this squeeze shading stuff on. Maybe I should do this on a clean chart, but let's take, for example, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty, pretty sexy, to be honest. You got those two touches there, third touch here, breaking back on the four hour above the track line. Still got blue dots. Uh, I can't get mad at that. This looks like a nice big, uh, pet, nice big flagpole. That's what she said. Um, and then a bull flag, right? And you would have had a bull pennant, but this is what I always tell people about pennants. I get really excited about bull pennants. You see this? I'm going to show you. Like something like that, right? And then it breaks down. And you go, oh, no, it's broken down. Then you go, oh, it's a flag, right? So what I'm seeing right now in the four hour is a bull flag with a really nice reaction off support. So I'm not getting that concerned right now. Ryan, I'm just looking at what's in front of me. Myro. I own some of this stupid dog. I somehow got suckered into it. Then it was down. Then I stopped out. Then I bought some more. And then it was then it was up. Pro I'm up now. Gave you a top signal. That's four hour. Let's go to the daily. Still looks good on the daily. Better than most because memes, memes done good. Right? So you got uh, green dots above the track line. Myro looking, looking good here. I bet the weekly. Every weekly chart looks good. Right? They could get a correction, come back down to those track lines, whatever. Uh, let's zoom out this chart a bit. I would say that, you know, you had this level right here, resistance, support. So we can draw that for the kids right there. Yeah, we, we tested below it. As long as we're kind of above these levels, this does not look bad to me. It makes me think memes might keep going. Also, guys, this is on Mexi and volume. I don't know. I don't even know how seriously you can you can chart these things, or whatever. Fib Swanee asks, he gets. I don't know why you're asking me for charts when you're the chart god guy. I mean, I don't even need to look at what it's saying to see that this has been up only. And what a crazy chart! Let's go on the weekly. I mean, STX kind of. This is really key, right? Was this the all-time high before, or was that just? Yeah. Okay. So STX, you got a massive cup here, basically. Breaking that resistance. I mean, what kind of concerns me here, if we're going to be honest, like, I think this will rise, but like, you've got clearly descending volume over time on the entire rise up. So you got the beautiful capitulation down below, massive volume on the break, by the way, this gave you the bottom triggers and the arrow. Okay. And all these tests just above the track line, but this has nothing but green dots here on the weekly and is still broken through a nice little volume and kind of retested. So anything above $3.25 on STX, I would say looks uh, somewhat great. Do you agree with that? You're, you're the chart guy, man. If, if I see your con your uh, your uh, comments on it over here, I, I will respond, Fibbo Swanee. Um, DGB, Digibyte, I haven't heard that name in a million years. This is fun because I'm scanning these all on this uh, indicator. Okay, weekly looks great. Shocker. All weeklies look good. I have not seen a weekly yet that I'm concerned about. 
So that should tell you a lot of things. Um, I mean, Digibyte apparently having a really good day. Up from 0.015 as high as 0.022. So that had a 50% move today. So look, that gave you the bottom signal right there. Flips the track line exactly as support. Arrows go green. I mean, look at that volume on Binance. What the hell is happening with Digibyte? Uh, that outside of March 22, it's the biggest volume I can find uh, on Digibyte. Did, was there some sort, did they cure cancer or like um, is AIDS no longer a thing because of Digibyte technology? I, I don't know, but as long as it holds 0.017 here, like I think you're super super in the clear you could even like draw a line through this whole area but it's way above it right now see if you came back to here you'd have these lows here this high here um i guess here let's let's zoom out and try to look for some targets i would say you've got a very clear area right here just take this swing high and you should be looking for a 2x from here as long as it holds above 0.017 i mean that looks great crazy volume uh cured cancer twice uh did the iron man in record time digibyte incredible three gold medals uh in one event in the olympics nobody's ever done that before uh curious 320 stop with 430 through 33 target i see i yeah i think you're that's good um digibyte yeah i don't i don't yeah yeah paul paul's flexing on us just bought eight more bitcoins Last night, removed from exchange. Thanks for the cheap sats, 68K. Yeah, one man's cheap is another man's expensive, but c congratulations on being a wealthy person who can just throw a half million bucks into some bit Bitcoins on the fly. Uh, Paul, uh, do you have a girlfriend? I'm sure there's people who are looking. Uh, Digibyte looking pretty, pretty good over there to be honest with you guys. Uh, Algorand, you guys always ask. I just see it. Guys, I don't, I'm not like watching the comments so actively, so I just grab something when I see it. This doesn't look great. Weekly is going to look fine. Weekly looks fine, as usual. So let's zoom into the daily. Once again, this kind of like, uh, was it VeChain that looked this way? It had lost, it never, yeah, so listen, this got you out here. You know, got you in at, Guys, you should check these indicators. Seriously, man. Because every time I open one, I'm like, well, just backtest it. Gave you the green arrow and the break of the track line at 16 cents. It went as high as 32. Didn't get you out at 32, but it would have gotten you out at 27. 16 to 27. Huge move. And uh, hasn't really put you back in. So I would say right now it's getting kind of rejected in this area, but I would be watching this line. If you're not using the indicator, I'd be watching this line. You don't want to lose kind of 20, 25 cents, 20.2532, right? That's been the key level. That was sort of that high over here. We don't want to go back to the ancient historical price action. Right now, looks a little weaker than some of the others. Looks a little weaker than some of the others. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, let's see what else we got here. IOS, IOSH, depending on what country you're from. Uh, this is one of my bigger holdings, if we're going to be totally honest, from all the way, some of it from last cycle, but I've been pretty transparent about trading this aggressively, but dude, it's going with this on KuCoin. So, I mean, this is one of those few things. I, so we have a lot of coins that are new this cycle that made new all-time highs. But there are very few from the last cycle that uh, made all-time highs right? Uh, Injective had made an all-time high. I remember that, but check this out. Trading alpha in the description, 25 off, 25% off. I might make like $12. I don't even know. I just asked him to give you guys 25% off since we talk about it so much. Gave you an entry at 0.014. Traded up to a dollar. Casual 6, 7X. No big deal. All the bottoming signals in the world. Arrow. Nothing but green dots. Let's take a look though on the daily and see if there's any reason to be alarmed. I don't see any particular reason. The only thing I could say here is maybe you have kind of a rising channel or a rising wedgie type thing. Let's see. The, that white color is really helpful. Thank you. It's great. Loving that. Something like that. Um, it would be more like this. And actually, 
holding it, but it's not necessarily bearish. It's just an ascending pattern. Bull flags have to be descending. If it's ascending, people tend to lean a little bit more bearish with it. But I, I like if you're holding this, can't say buy it today, but I can say that if you're holding it, uh, looks quite tremendous still. Uh, if not a little toppy with that potential pattern, but going back on the weekly, you got to think that it's going to attack that high. If you're looking for a dip, uh, this would be a very big one, but on the weekly, I would say this would be the area that you had. My channel's up stupid with that white line in the middle. I literally, it's going to, it's going to bother me so much if I don't change that. Okay. We can breathe now. Uh, so man bun bullish or garish is that a gareth he has a sweet man bun i had a man bun my freshman year of college uh one year of my whole life um i would say not surprisingly if i had to put a metric on it that was the year of my life that women were the least interested of, in me not talking about gareth's man bun i'm talking about me my own hairs it was such a bad look for me I had long hair down to here. It's Swiss mist like this. One big thing. And so I had to tie it back. And I had shaved underneath. Oh, man. That was 1995. So, like, I, I think I get a pass. But IO is still looking pretty good here. Uh, AVAX, let's take a look. AVAS, not a token. Not a token. You guys been trading that AVAS, bro? AVAX, obviously good on the weekly. Just want to give you guys the context. I see, see, I made that, whatever that was, was I got all kinds of white lines here from when I changed it over. I agree with those lines, so that's cool. Gave you that short, boom, all the way down. And gave you the bottoming signals and flip. So now, like as Wick always kind of teaches with this, you're just looking for tests of the track line. You're out if it breaks. But on the weekly, nothing but good dots. We'll see if the day closes with this blue slash red dot. A lot of these tokens, though, see, this does not worry me because yet. Because this, right? I mean, if you're above that, I don't really see how you can be too particularly concerned, right? I mean, that was the high from December. You had this huge dip down to 27, basically cut in half all the way back up. But if you're using this indicator, it would have you out of this for now and waiting for an entry. So maybe you wait till you're back above the track line, start getting the gray dots. But I, I mean, a dip to 49.96, if I was looking at this without the indicator, to me, pretty big buy signal, pretty big buy signal. So the answer, crypto market correcting, what should you buy on this dip? Hard to find things that look like they're at the exact entry for a dip right now. So at this moment, here's the hedge, and I hate to have to give you the answer when that's the title, is some of these things look like you're going to either want to buy them higher or lower. Yeah. Christopher Inks mentioned last week on Twitter that Filecoin is only just starting a rally and could rally through to 100. Let's take a look because you know that I have Christopher Inks on my show every single week. Uh, to 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Woo! 10x. These use an Elliott Waves. I am not, so I don't yeah, let's see. Well, it's been at, it's crazy when you see how high some of these coins went. $236 and it's at nine. That should show you the absolute massive potential of this market. But this is, Filecoin is really, to me, at a kind of a make or break sort of level right here, to be honest. 930-ish, right? You had the bottom, that's kind of the top of this range. So this is giving you long. There's no reason right now in the weekly to exit your longs. Uh, daily, all of these are, I think that all of these are on the cusp of choosing a direction for a little while. I don't like that massively descending volume while price has risen. So that gives me cause for very temporary concern, not long-term concern. But once again, I can't say that this is a dip I would buy today at this price as a trader. Can't say that. Uh, please check out FTM, Scott. This should just show you how I chart stuff and then you kind of make your decisions. Uh, which, what's the longest stand, the FTM USDT? All kind of same-ish. You know, I've realized, by the way, when I, uh, you guys have noticed that I go like max headroom glitchy, it's because this trading alpha uh, indicator 
clearly takes like a lot of uh, bandwidth, you know. So it's when I'm using this and I switch charts that I go quickly glitchy on my browser. So this would have had you out at, at, into Phantom at here, either 35, depending on how you like it, 37 cents, 39 cents, certainly here, huge trigger at 41 cents. So it could have caught you up to $1.22, a quick 3x from the last of those entries. But it has, for the first time on the daily, and a lot of these, I'm seeing this, lost the dots. So I can't say I want an entry to this right now. I do hold some, by the way. And I'd say you got this high here. And historically, we got way higher, right? Kind of up to 340, I think, was the, is that the all-time high? 348. So this has rallied nicely to $1.22. I mean, this thing was on that Andre Cronje FUD was like 17 cents. Many Xs, it's done. Uh, just a lot of these I'm seeing sort of like corrective patterns and maybe we're going to get a little more correction. I don't know, but I don't want to buy it right now today. Uh, the, the key area for a retest, but it's gotten it before is down here around 65 cents or something. So I'm looking at some of these, including Bitcoin. It's making me think we might correct a little more. Let me look at Bitcoin again. Although if we can get back and this just becomes a big down wick, I think. We're going to be fine like tomorrow. And then we're going to be like, we should have bought everything. I don't know. Doge. Is it 3.59 already? I got one more minute. This goes fast. I used to do this for hours, but I can't do that anymore. Doge weekly. That's the daily still looking really solid. You can see I had drawn this line on the other indicator. Clean breakout if you were trading it. You know, chart patterns if you're using the indicator. You lost the track line there, but it started giving you dots again at 16 cents. Nice entries, but it had you in all the way down at 8 cents, so can't be mad at that. I am seeing a lot of descending volume. Well, actually, this topped and then descending volume. That's very bullish. Um, Doge still looks pretty good to me here. It's way above, the, trading way above the track line. Green dots, nice breakout, looking really kind of great. Oh, there's something I got to tell you guys. So you guys may remember um, a couple months ago, I did one session of sniper school with Sheldon. It's completely free. It's like thousands of people. It's free. It's free. I don't want to hear about it. It was just like, they asked me, hey, do you want to bring some of your audience? It's free. We're teaching people how to trade. We don't want them to get wrecked. I said, sure. And I did that. But they're doing another cohort of sniper school imminently and i'm going to participate more because i just had fun it's april 9th 16th 23rd and 30th uh there's a link down in the description like i said it's completely free so i mean it's free like don't do it or do it but like leave me alone man it says spots are limited and the next cohort is starting soon the link is down below you can see it here but yeah i'm going to show up to the ones that i can and we're gonna you know teach you guys how to trade and you'll have a huge community there and it's great it's free it's completely free just show up you get a whole course from them and then uh, we kind of uh support it through the streams it's free it's free you can use the link uh, down below and uh i'll get my free affiliate for being free i don't know man guys that's all i got for you today we did it 31 minutes of sheer ecstasy. The answer to crypto market correcting, what should you buy on this dip? I think right now is just time to be patient and see what tomorrow brings us. That's what I learned, you know? Uh, and uh, I don't know who, what this Bober is, but you guys are asking for the hell of it, a lot of it. Bober, oh, it's just like one guy Bobering. Maybe it's two guys Bobering. I don't know. Guys, that is all I have. I hope you enjoyed that. Mondays, it's a little more free flowing. Little old school. I don't show up like with a message to deliver you. Next 100x altcoin that you will need today for tomorrow. All right. That's all I got. I hope you guys have a good one. I will see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Obviously. Bye. Let's go.